love you so much. I love you forever, only you. Oh. Wow. Hey, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I had a pretty intense dream. Hmm. Did it have uh, Spanish subtitles? Look, Gwen, um, I thought we settled this last night. I love you, not Teresa. I want to be with you and only you, not Teresa. Ethan, that's what you say, but... I... Let, let me guess, you don't believe me, right? Honey, we've had this discussion so many times, but Teresa always manages to creep back into our lives. Not this time. Gwen, she's moved on. She's, uh... She's starting over with Jared. Maybe. But, uh... Have you moved on? Look, would I have agreed to represent Julian in a custody suit against Teresa if I was still pining away for her? You saw how mad she got at me at the mansion when I started defending Julian's rights as the Lethan's father, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, okay, well then there you go. There you go, you have no reason to worry. I'm gonna shower and shave, you should snooze. For once, it's not Teresa I'm worried about, Ethan, it's you. Can you really let her go? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, hey sweetheart. Mm. Chris, hi. hi. I'm um, surprised to see you guys here. Chris was just treating me to breakfast. Oh. Yeah, yeah, go on, please, join us. Well, thank you. <sighs> I'm getting a text message. Something the matter with James? No, just a headhunter trying to get in touch with me. Excuse me for a moment. <sighs> you look tired, didn't you sleep well? No, I did not, and neither did Ethan. Mm, yeah, last night was intense with Pilar being shot and the mansion being robbed. Yeah, but uh, it's more than that. You know, it's, it's Teresa. I thought Teresa was letting go, moving on, giving up on Ethan for good. Well, in some ways, she is. Then what's the problem? It's Ethan. I'm not sure if he can let her go. Why would you think Ethan can't let go of Teresa? Because it bothers him so much to see her moving on with Jared. He didn't actually say that, did he? No. I mean, he denies having feelings for her, but I know better. You know, he says he loves me and that he chooses me, but the way he looks at her, Sheridan, I mean, it's so obvious he's still in love with her. So I told him he needed to make a choice. You know, if he wants to be with Teresa, then he should be with Teresa, because I don't want to be married to a man who's in love with another woman. But he chose you. You know, he always does. And I don't know if it's out of obligation or if it's because he really does love me and wants to be with me more than he wants to be with Teresa. I'm sorry you're going through this. I so want to believe that Ethan's with me because I have his heart. But at this point, I'm just really afraid that part of his heart's still with Teresa. But you know, enough about me. You and Chris seem to be doing great. <sighs> He's wonderful. Oh, um, we both decided we want to work like you and Ethan do. I'm going to speak to Teresa about taking over Fancy's job at Crane. That sounds perfect. Yes. And I offered to get Chris a job in Crane Accounting, but he turned me down. He said he wants to be his own man. He doesn't want my help or my money. Oh, honey, that's a relief. It is. <laughs> I can completely trust Chris. He has no agenda, no secrets, no connection to my father at all. I mean, Chris is exactly who he says he is. My advice is to give the situation with Ethan some time. Hey, but why? You know, every time things come to a head and Ethan, you know, chooses me over Teresa, I sit back, I wait for him to prove he means it by distancing himself from her, but Teresa always finds a way to draw him back in. But that was before Teresa decided to move on. Yeah, so now it's a case of Ethan wanting what he can't have? Teresa just started dating Jared. Ethan probably needs a little time to let it sink in, just like Luis did when he learned I was dating Chris. Thank <laughs> you.